Greetings to everyone. We are team Gladiator. I am Aman Singh and my team members are Ravi Shankar Yadav and Saurabh Yadav. We are from Sri Vaishnav Vidyapeet Vishwavidyalay, Indore, Madhya Pradesh. We have done this project under the guidance of Mr. Sunil Pipya sir. We would like to thank Mechanical Department of Sri Vaishnav Vidyapeet Vishwavidyalay to conduct this national event of Rashna. The broad outline of our project is Introduction, Literature Review, Gaps, Objectives, Methodology, Overall Cost Estimation and Result. This is about real-time drowsiness and eye-opening detection safety drive system. The actual scenario is we are all intended to develop real-time drowsiness and eye-opening detection system. So what actually is driver fatigue or driver drowsiness? It is that sometimes due to long working or long driving hours, drivers do not get proper rest. That is why they feel certain dizziness or certain drowsiness due to which accidents are intended to happen. And these accidents are more or less caused by the tiredness or the state of tiredness of drivers. And these are more likely to happen on the long journeys or the monotonous routes, generally between 1 a.m. to 4 a.m especially after eating or taking any alcoholic drink after having a less sleep. If the driver takes some medicine or something like that, these causes drowsiness. This work intends to develop non-intrusive system which can detect fatigue of the driver and issue a timely warning. The effect of drowsiness on driver are that they are less able to pay attention to the road. It slows the reaction time of the driver and also affects the driver's ability to make good decisions. These are the percentage numbers released by the National Highway Authority of India. As you can see, around 41% of accidents occur due to the inattentiveness or the drowsiness of the driver. And it is estimated that these percentage numbers can increase about 10% to the year 2025 which is an alarming situation. So as to flatten or decrease this graph, we have proposed this method. So as to do this, first we have studied various methods that how drowsiness detection can be done. So first method is physiological measures. Physiological measures have frequently been used for drowsiness detection as they can provide a direct and objective measure. Possible measures are EEG, which is electroencephalogram, eyelid closure, eye movements, heart rate, pupil size, skin conductance and production of hormones adrenaline, no adrenaline and cortisol. Driving performance measure. Driving performance measures include steering wheel movement, lateral position, speed variability and reaction time. Studies indicate that the steering wheel variability increases with the amount of drowsiness. Third is self-report. Self-report refers to the subjective rating made by the driver and can be obtained through various rating scales. Experts rating. Experts ratings refers to the rating made by an observer and are made on a similar scale as a self-report. Results from earlier studies indicate that these ratings are reliable and consistent. Moving forward. We have done literature reviews and gone through various research papers, some of which are yawning detection by the analysis of variational description or second is driver drowsiness detection using EEG, third is detecting driver drowsiness using sensors and fourth is drowsiness detection based on facial landmarks and uniform local binary patterns. Reviewing these papers, we found some gaps which are as follows that current system sensitivity is comparatively low, proposed methods are high in cost, experimental setup of current technologies are complicated and less accuracy in real-time detection. Based on these gaps, we have made our objectives which are to construct and evaluate drowsiness and eyeballing detection safety drive system. Create a highly sensitive system which is sensitive to every minute movement and achieve higher and to achieve higher accuracy. To construct a safety system at affordable and optimum cost, 
to achieve real time detection and to create a system which is user friendly and portable to achieve all these objectives we have prepared a methodology which is easy user friendly and effective our project drowsiness and eye blink detection safety drive system is a real time detection and is merely based on computer programming which we have done in python language python is currently the most widely used language and high level programming language as python can be used for various application and some of which are machine learning gui application image processing scientific computing multimedia modules play a vital role in this system and we have imported some modules which are important from this project's points of view which are open cv it is used for face and eye detection dlib is used for facial landmark detection and algorithms tensor flow is used for as as keras uses tensor flow as backend keras to build a classification model and pygem to play alarm sound let's take a broad look in five steps that how actually the algorithms work first the real time image is taken as input from camera second the face is detected in the image by the help of open cv and the region of interest is created third the detection of eyes are done by the help of roi created and is fed into the classifier classifier is there to categorize whether the eyes are open or closed here in fifth step here the score is the threshold limit which we have set so as to determine if the person is drowsy or not threshold limit can also be stated as par limit as here we have given the threshold limit of score 15 which is equivalent to 5 seconds which means that if the person's eyes are continuously closed for 5 seconds the alarm sound is generated for the driver as you can see in picture 1 score is below 15 and the eyes are open in picture 2 score is above 15 and the eyes are closed until here the coding part is done and to use it in real life application we have used raspberry pi and the block diagram is power supply is given to the system and after which input is given to raspberry pi in the form of real time image by the help of webcam and by the help of programming feeded into the raspberry pi the classifier will determine whether the score is above or below 15 here here relay works as a switch if score is below 15 it will not allow current to pass through it and if the score is above 15 the current will pass through it and will activate buzzer now what is raspberry pi as you can see it is a credit card sized computer that can that can be plugged into a computer monitor led and use as standard keyboard and mouse it enables people of all ages to explore computing it is a low cost and highly effective and also known as mini computer which has all basic features of computer we have used raspberry pi camera which is high quality 5 megapixel sony imx219 image sensor custom designed added on board of raspberry pi we have mounted a camera on front mirror for eye detection the weight is as low as 3 g and which is too light it also works excellent in low light and we can also connect multiple cameras with raspberry pi so as to achieve higher accuracy Raspberry Pi buzzer sensor. A piezo buzzer is a device that is used to generate beep sound. The buzzer generate generate beep sound in a loop, and the volume of buzzer is controllable. Here is the cost estimation. The overall cost estimation of the system, including Raspberry Pi, camera, buzzer, memory card, installation charge, and the total amount is rupees three thousand five hundred and sixty five. this cost can also be reduced if the mass production is being done at the end 
we have achieved all our objectives and fulfilled the gaps that remain in the past researchers at our best knowledge let's take a look at the video of our working system The system developed is effective and is currently being used in only high budget cars. But for us, every life is precious. And to protect them, we are intended to make the system at low cost so as to make it easier for everyone out there to install it in their vehicle. At the end, Jan hai to Jahan hai. Thank you.